What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's <laughs> um unique video, I will say. The road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we're now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows, maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of next month. Excuse me. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. Excuse me. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Tomb Chaos box in its entirety on, on the channel that I also got from my partners at Collector Store. On the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of the set. But it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled a collector's rare because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did several months back it is a collector's rare beat cup from the Underworld. I think this is going for like maybe 30 bucks right now if I, if, if I remember correctly. But this thing looks absolutely beautiful. The centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom but honestly it doesn't make much of a damn because I am going to be getting this graded. But I never really came up with a good opportunity to do so. But with that being said. With that being said. If you guys want to see, see these boxes get opened. Maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos. Or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to, to the channel, and I know that, that a lot of you guys are, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media, my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It'll also be in the description as well. And I want you guys, guys to post in the comments below, answering the question of the day, which, act, per, per, which actually ties perfectly with today's video, which is this. Do you guys want to see Sasha Banks back in WWE? Let me know down in the comments below. And for today's video... That is exactly what we are going to be talking about. Is the potential return, is the potential WWE return of Sasha Banks. Now, if you guys, now, obviously you guys are fully aware that both Sasha Banks and Naomi, at the time, they were the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions and they left and they walked out of WWE back in May of 2022. This was right around the time that there was supposed to have been a six-pack challenge where it, it was supposed to have been both both tag team champions, Asuka, Becky Lynch, Piper Niven, and Nikki A.S.H., or now Nikki Cross. Those were the six women that were supposed to compete that, that, that were supposed to compete in, in a six-pack six-pack challenge where where the winner would face would face Bianca Belair for the then Raw Women's title and that was no no longer the case as they both as both tag team champions decided to drop their titles onto the desk of the head of talent relations at, at the time and they walked out backpacked and everything and because of that they were indefinitely suspended but what, but what we didn't know is that they ended up getting released several months, literally just a couple of months later, and the whole world basically, 
and the entire WWE world basically just forgot about Sasha and Naomi. But now, but now, both of them are, they're, they're doing pretty well for themselves outside of WWE. Because as of right now, Naomi, now known as her, her real first name, which is Trinity, is doing well on, on TNA Impact Wrestling as the current Knockouts Champion. And Sasha... Sasha made, made her way to New Japan Pro Wrestling and defeated Kairi Sane at Battle in at Battle in the Valley back in February of, of this year to capture the IWGP women's title and is currently out with an injury. And she was and, and apparently she, she was shown in in the crowd during AEW's big event all in earlier this year inside Wembley Stadium. And it's crazy because and it's 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 pretty crazy because UFC legend, UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier, who we saw what was it, 2022? Yeah, who who we saw last right around this time last, uh, last year guest referee the fight pit match featuring Matt Riddle and Seth freaking Rollins. Cormier was a guest on the on 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 the MMA hour with with none other than Ariel Helwani. And during that interview, Cormier suggested that Sasha Banks should should return to WWE at the Royal Rumble. He said, quote he said, quote, so my thoughts is the Royal Rumble, maybe Sasha Banks comes back. Dude, remember they were tag tag champ, tag team champs? That's what that's what Cor Cormier said. Um obviously 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 Hel Helwani was a bit dismissive of Banks entirely as, as a performer and also wondered what she had ever done, basically. And Cormier had pointed out apparently that he was uh, he was just acting that way because because he was excited about CM Punk's return to to WWE, and 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 Cormier said she said she's won every championship, she's done everything, and right now her name is is like something Monet is like something Monet. She's like rocking and rolling in Japan, like she's the best. Is what is what he added. Um, and uh, what I find what I find in interesting is that is that Ariel Helwani was like, nah, who who cares? Who cares? And uh, honestly, I as crazy. As crazy as it sounds, I actually agree with Daniel Cormier, but Bianca Belair actually note actually me, actually mentioned um, she she was actually in an in an, in an exclusive interview with with Sports Kita. Big shout out, no copyrights as always. Um, and obviously, big shout out, back, big shout out to Ariel Helwani, of course, in the MMA Hour. Shout outs to all of them. No copyrights, naturally. Um, she, so Bianca Belair was in an interview with Sports Kita earlier this year, and Bianca stated that she wished Banks nothing but the best and complimented her for living her dream. She said, "Quote: I want her to be happy. I know she's out there living her dream." She's and, and she's in Japan, and she's doing her thing. That's all. That's all that matters. At, at at the end of the day, it's happiness. And I completely agree. While and while while it is true that that yes, obviously Banks, you know, you know Mercedes is, is doing her her own thing in 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 Japan, and you know she's living out living out her dream. I think honestly, 
Her coming back to WWE at this stage in WWE's path, I think would probably be best because think about this. This entire year in WWE, we have seen a lot of people make their impactful, impactful return to WWE. We saw, we saw Bad Bunny. We saw Bobby Lashley as well. We even saw Bray Wyatt return earlier this year back in January in ring competition wise at the Royal Rumble, which was his last televised match, sadly. We saw, um, obviously, obviously, obviously Randy Orton come back. We saw CM Punk come back. We saw a lot, even, even Carlito came back as well. Not once, but twice earlier this year, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. We saw, we saw John Cena come back. You know, we saw main, we saw main event Jay Uso come back after quitting WWE. Now, now Jay's on Raw, and he's a nine-time tag team champion. That's incredible. It is absolutely in, incredible. Think about this: the talent that's on Raw, SmackDown, and NXT collectively. You've got Charlotte Flair, you got Bailey, you got Becky Lynch. Literally, the four horsewomen of of WWE. You've got Shayna Baszler. You've got You've got Zoe Stark. You've got, as well, uh, Liv Morgan, Raquel, uh, Raquel Rodriguez. You've got Jade Cargill. You've got, you've got Roxanne Perez, Cara Jade. Uh, you've got uh, Carmen Pet, uh, Carmen Petrovich. You've got, you've got our. Um, um, Ariana Grace, Rhea Ripley. You've got as well who. Uh, Zelina Vega. You've got uh, Michin, Mia Yim. Um, uh, uh, la, 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 Bianca Belair. Who else can I think of? Um, Ly uh, uh, Zia Lee, Lyra Valkyria, the current NXT Women's Champion. Asuka, the current, the current, not Asuka. Um, well, yes, Asuka. Io Sky, the current WWE Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley, I mentioned earlier, the current the current Women's World Champion. Lara Valkyria, the NXT Women's Champion. You've got Piper Niven and Chelsea Green, the Tag Team Champions. Lash Legend, Chikara Jackson, uh, Blair Davenport, Kalani Jordan, Tiffany Stratton. You've got all these different... You've got all this talent for, for Sasha Banks to compete against. By the way, she also brace first for the pink pink lemonade. Not sponsored, but it's awesome. Anyway, anyway, you've got all this talent, all these different talent, all all of these different talented women who who have either been champion, who are currently champions, or who are making a name for 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 themselves in in WWE, and all of them. Are perf would be perfect first time opponents for Sasha Banks if she if she returns. The only problem, the only problem, is that is that if you really think about it, the question is, should she really come back? Should we see Sasha Banks back in WWE? Honestly, it's hard to say because while while it is true that I would that I would love to see Sasha Banks in WWE, honestly, I think her staying in New in New Japan Pro Wrestling will probably be her best op her it will probably be the best thing for her because because let's say for let's because now nowadays i mean think think of the title think of what's there you've got you've got the women's world title in replacement with the smackdown women's title you got the wwe women's title in in replacement with the raw women's title and then and then you've got the women's tag team titles you got the nxt women's title you have exactly literally what four titles yeah 
four titles in w in w in in the WWE Women's Division. Five if you count NXT Europe if we ever get that, but you guys get 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 the point. The way I see it, I think Sasha Banks is better off staying in New Japan for a little bit longer because if she comes back to WWE and she competes for competes in a in a number one contenders match, let's say, all she's gonna do is just walk out. That's the problem that that I have with Sasha Banks in WWE. But but at the same time, think about this. She never got her <clears throat> she never got her her one -on, her one on one rematch for the SmackDown women's title. She never got a rematch for for the women's tag team titles because she was stripped of of the titles when she walked out. The last time she had a one on one match, sorry rematch for the Raw women's title, Bailey screwed her out of the title. So now. She so if she came back, she has an option to choose one of those three titles, get get her rematch, and go about with the rest of her business. But I but I I will say I will I will close out close out this video by saying this. No matter what no matter what Sasha Banks does next, the only thing the only thing that I, we we as her fans can do is support it is support her decisions 100 percent if she if she's if she comes back to if she wants to come back to to wwe that's awesome that is awesome a good a good amount of talent would be per would be a perfect first opponent for sasha banks liar valkyria becky lynch charlotte flair you know all these different women any one of them would, would be a perfect first opponent for Sasha Banks, but if but if she stays in New Japan, I mean it is what it is. I mean, I mean from what I have seen, she no she's no longer the IWGP Women's Champion, and she I, I guess she is owed, owed a rematch. So maybe may, maybe maybe we'll see that take place, but only time will tell. But honestly. Honestly, we'll just we'll just, we will just have to wait and see what happens. Will we see her at the Royal Rumble? Will we see her at another New Japan Pro Wrestling event? Oh, oh, only time will tell. But with that being said, that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It'll also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.